All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Ferretti here, and today we're going to talk about the Montana registrations. You know, all the P1s and Paganis and Bugattis and Ferraris. You see at all these car shows rocking Montana plates. There's a reason for that, and the reason is Montana doesn't require for you to a have your vehicle in Montana. Doesn't have an uh, inspection, and it also uh, doesn't collect tax upon registration of the vehicle. Now, why is that good? Because if you've ever registered a vehicle, you go buy a car for $100,000, and what does the government want? They want themselves a $7,000 check just for you to register the car because that's the tax that they're charging on it. Now, that's all right with most goods. Somebody pays tax when they buy it, and then you get it used. It's not really that big of a deal. With cars, you buy it for a hundred, sell it for ninety. State's getting seven thousand dollars off that guy for the uh, for the hundred thousand dollar sale. Then they're getting the same seven percent for the guy off the ninety thousand dollar sale. Sells again for seventy five. They're getting seven percent off of that, and they they'll literally make more than the value of the car in sales tax off of this one asset over the life of the vehicle if it changes hands enough. That's sort of BS. Uh, just taxing everything. Everything is taxed. It sucks. But that's sort of what makes people annoyed when they buy big ticket items. Uh, if there is a loophole, they, they like to sort of exercise their right to use that loophole. And Montana is that loophole. Now, Jalopnik just ran a story. I don't know who actually uh, tabulated everything, but Montana knows it exists. It's one of those things that you set up a company in Montana. This is essentially what it boils down to. You set up a company in Montana, that company is managed by whoever the car is registered to that company and owned by that company, and you do not have to pay sales tax on the purchase of the vehicle. All well and good, it's a nice way to go about life. You save a hell of a lot of money, and I can't really fault anyone for doing it. Now, this makes some people angry for whatever reason. They feel that everybody should be, I'm paying tax on my car, you should be paying tax on your car. It's not, people get angry at the Montana thing because it's sort of rich people that get the most benefit out of it. If you have a $20,000 car, it costs more to set up and manage that, um, it takes more to set up and manage that, tr uh, the, the company then you will be in saving in the long run because you still have to pay every year to manage the company, to, to maintain the company. It costs more to do that than you'll be saving in taxes. So it makes no sense to do. So you really have to have a valuable enough asset in order to even do this. And that's why it's essentially a rich person thing to do. Now that makes people angry because rich people are saving money. And I think it's just rich people being smart with money. And all of my cars you can see are not registered in Montana, so it's not even really like I've been a beneficiary of this. But you can't look at it as people doing something illegal. It's, it's the easiest way to parallel this would be people registering their LLCs in Delaware. That's been registered and done forever. And the, the reason that doesn't make people angry is because registering your LLC in Delaware, anyone could do it. I could be a kid in college and go have an LLC or make a company. And that doesn't seem to bother people as much, but it's the same principle. So it's really difficult to get mad at people for doing that. Now what Montana is doing is they know this exists, they're doing it. Montana is gonna be the beneficiary of it. Now they're saying we're gonna charge, at least the bill that's been proposed, we're gonna charge these people 1% of the value of the car a year, whatever the, uh, the estimated value of the car is. And now if you have, say, a, a $300,000 car, instead of paying $27,000 or anywhere between twenty dollars and $30,000 in taxes to register it, you're going to pay $3,000 for year one to, register, to, to have it in that state. The value will go down. It'll probably be a straight line depreciation scale. And eventually it'll be, it'll be $3,000 the first year, maybe $2,200 the second year, $1,200 but it'll be significantly less over the co course of time that you own the car than actually paying the sales tax in whatever state you're registering it in. Now, some states like Virginia take very serious issue with this. They know it's a game, they don't wanna do it. But in my opinion, all is fair. Uh, I think we people pay enough in taxes. I think everybody agrees that they pay enough in taxes. That's why loopholes like this even exist. Montana knows it exists and they're benefiting from it. They're going to benefit from it. The same way 
their economy benefits from it, the lawyers benefit from it, the same way the Delaware Corporation Servicing Centers and lawyers in Delaware and the state of Delaware benefit from all these LLCs being registered in Delaware. Also, I think it's the same thing with Nevada and maybe a couple other states. But don't be angry at them. It's a game that if you could afford it, you'd probably play it too. Uh, I can't fault anyone. It's just, just the way of the world. Nobody likes paying multiple times or, or significant amounts of money on top of something they've already purchased, especially when when you feel so abused, when you when you buy a car and, and one car should not generate, or one asset should not generate its value in tax money over over any life of it. It should, if, if an asset sells, it should sell, get taxed once and that should be it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Hate the rich people, like the rich people, like the game, hate the game. Uh, it exists. So at least acknowledge and embrace it. And that is the story behind the Montana LLCs and the Montana registrations that you'll see on a lot of supercars at a lot of car shows in your local zone, in your local area. And that's why most of, that's why Jalopnik even did the article. Most of these vehicles have never stepped foot in Montana, nor will they ever. And you should, because Montana is a gorgeous place to be. I've been to Big Sky. I've been up to uh, like Whitefish and the Flathead area and Glacier amazing places. I'm actually looking to buy a place outside of Glacier in Whitefish, Montana, because I love it up there. So if you're up there, I'll see you around when I lock it down. I'm going to check something out in uh, June. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will catch you next time. Argue with each other in the comments below. Spaghetti.